Here I'm going to be using our 40 blade for the pads, 10 blades for the sanitary, my favorite two guards and four guards possibly to leave the hair longer. Don't forget every tool I use is found on myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. Don't forget to get your grooming mask, protect the way you breathe. I have some arthritis, just at least to get her on the table come here. here. Okay, come here. Come here. Okay, ready? Oh, okay, go. Stop. Okay, I'm gonna get you up there. Turn you around here. Get your body up there. <laughs> You're okay. Okay. You're all right. Keep all right, sit up. Do you clip her nails? Yes, her nails oh, will be cut. As long as I'm able to get everything done, it should be good. Okay. Should I go out okay. there? Yep, all right, it's up to you. You, you can go oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so mom said she gave her a little itty bitty part of a sedative. I told her I didn't recommend that. To me, it doesn't really do a lot. The pet is out there walking around. She's just going through something that she's going through here. She's 11 years old and we are gonna do a short summer cut so I don't have to see her very much. And then mom said, six, so mom is 60 years old and she's like, she doesn't like for me to brush her, right? Right. <laughs> so that way you can kind of, it's not me, we're not brushing like every day kind of thing. So I, I recommend a short summer cut every uh, four months if we do a short haircut. For a senior pet, that's, that's perfect. Not very often. Um, she called me and I'll tell you how she found me in a minute. Okay, so we're going to do a seven all over. She called me because she needed a place to go with someone that would work with an animal that is a nipper and will bite. So that's how she found me. And nipper dogs, biter dogs are not animals you want to groom once a month or twice a month. It's just, it is what it is. So shorter the cut, the better. And then you don't need to see them very often, but you need to be very careful every time you do see them. Hopefully in time we can get to a different place where there's some more trust there, and you've seen, you know, as, as long as we can grow some trust, it seems to come a long way. So you see, um, in this case, you know, honestly, if you're doing some grooming and some of you guys are wondering like, at what point do I decide to go seven reverse? There's a lot of drag in catching because the coat's dirty or here you can do a seven reverse and it'll be a lot easier. I might switch out. It just depends what, you know, how far I'm getting into this stuff here. Or you might have to just opt for that 10 down instead of seven. It's really um, like dirty. It's not getting all the hair. I can see it. It's not getting it even. So there's still stuff. You know, see all this is not going through my clippers. It's dirty. If you do a seven reverse, because the hair is coming into the, you know, growing into the clippers, it's going to cut it a lot faster and easier. You know, you have a pet you're grooming and you're not able to, if you're not able to brush, which I'm about to make a switch. Uh, and you just then you come into your ten down. So I need to be careful, but I still need the pet to not bite me. So this allows the pet to swing its head around only so much before the pet would bite me, correct? So I was gonna change the groom loop instead. I'm just gonna lower this all the way. I feel like the sedative really knocked her out. Doesn't this seem familiar like that German Shepherd that came in? Yeah, I don't really wanna do the 10 down, man. See, I am going to use a 10 down here during this, these areas here that are just matted. We'll come back. Because everything you've got to do here, we're not going to blow dry, so 
everything we're going to do here needs to be kind of final. We don't blow dry this really, the really old pets, you guys. We don't blow dry them. Don't blow dry them. Ask the pet parents to allow no blow drying. We can air dry. So we got pine is matted. You want to come in with your seven now. So those of you who are always telling me, hey, don't get that dog sedative. This is probably why that German Shepherd came in and knocked up. And so is uh, this pet is very, very knocked out. Just drugged up. It's just a drugged up look and feeling, right? This is what you guys wanted, right? The only downfall then is that, you know, honestly, is that when a dog can't stand up, then there's only so much you can do. Right? Can the dog bite me? Yep. Absolutely. I am doing a 10 on his legs here.
I guess what's really a good idea is just to keep her here in the same position and finish what I need to finish instead of kind of moving her around. Not just yet, you know. No, see? No, no, look forward. See, look at that. Just give her that room. No. You scared me, man. Now I pay attention. Mm -hmm. Loopy, but she has the um, no, it's fine. I'm just coming at it from that angle.
just in a little tiny bit. Mm -hmm. I don't know what that means. Right. out of it except when she's real pop. Yeah. You only did one, scared the crap out of me. I'm going to come in and do a 40 on the pad. You ready? Mm -hmm. Now I can kind of get, get stop using your services. So. I'll come do the 40 and then uh, mat it in there so she's biting it. Stop, pop, 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 pop. Rosie. 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 Well, here I'm going to do a nail trim on this side. Certain nails, how thick these are, I'm going to use my big ones, and then you may go side to side and chisel down with your big ones, small ones, so it just depends. Pop, 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 pop. Let's do And that's about as all I can take, and now I'm seeing the vein already, so let's... Mm -hmm. You see, go like that. Two swipes and I can see the vein, so... If I didn't know what I was doing and I kept going, I would just cause more trauma, so... push it. I'm going to try to push it a little bit and do a rough, even get it right basically on the edge of the vein because they are so long. Also, she may not like it, but she's telling me also. So pay attention to all those signs. We're right at the vein, and I, I got them shorter, but not as short as they should be. The nail, and then that's a whole other story, but the vein will grow out with the nail. There we go. Since she's laying like this, I'm just going to go in for it.
Okay. Okay. I got you. I got you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. Okay. You got the best okay. one right here. It's okay. You got the best nail trimmer right here, man. You see this one? You can stand up. You got. I know you got energy. Chop, 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 It's okay. Stop. It's okay. It's okay. Calm down. Pop 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 I'm gonna do one more pad in here, and maybe I can let David go. Here we go. Pop, 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 pop. Rosie, we're not doing the pad. I mean, we're not doing the nails. We're just doing the pads here. Nails are all done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, start. Okay. Pop, 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 pop. Come on, there. Okay. <sighs> You're wearing me out, girl. Just a little bit. So I can get this whole side. All right. Okay, I'm gonna fix it for you. I got you. You're all right. So mom said she had a hot spot. I'm gonna have David get a close up on this one, this hot spot here. And we're gonna show mom, I'm gonna have him go talk to mom and see if she want, what she's using on the hot spot. So dog chewing, we've done this before. Some kind of irritation, like she, I think the mom said allergies. So there was, there's probably a knot here. See like this one? There's probably a big knot right there. And um, the dog was irritated. I, I don't think it's really allergies or you would see flare up everywhere and I don't. So we're going to show her some hot spot cool. stuff. And uh, after the bath, see if she wants to get, get some, we'll apply it. You can talk, talk to her about that out there. Okay. You are really loopy, aren't you? I keep forgetting that you're loopy. I'm like out of it. I keep forgetting you're out of it. Now, if I lose her, I'm going to be upset at myself for letting that all go. But I'm going to have my guard up here, and I'm going to be able to hopefully be ready for some reaction. I would go with that hot spot spray. So this is a sedated dog grooming. <laughs> this is how this is what it would be like, um, but not totally out. This is just a sedative that you can get from over the um, at your veterinarian a pill. I'm gonna have to ask for what kind it is, and you guys want some, you can go get some. But it, each pet's gonna be different, and then how much you give is obviously gonna play a factor. All right. It doesn't make it a uh, complete easy groom. You face different challenges then, right? You 
face challenges like um, the fact that she can't stand up at all now, or doesn't want to, doesn't have the energy to. She face challenges like the haircut's not going to look the same, you know, it's not going to be, you're not going to keep going and making it pretty, and, you know what I mean, you're not going to keep pushing it, you're just going to get her done. All right, going to the back. If she goes down to lay down, then that's one thing. If she doesn't, that's enough. All right, we're gonna leave that there. We'll see how it goes.
that. Now this is just a small dog up stand. Amazing. So it's going to help me for a second here. Time is of the essence, so keep moving. Get your brush ready for a brush out with conditioner in here. She hates the brush, so you get all those uneven spots out from it being dirty earlier. Might be just dead hair. Just going to do this. The water, the conditioner, and brushing through will really help the brush go all the way through. The smell is amazing. It smells great. Go forward and down on the ears and the head. The eyeball is good. You got it, girl. You're doing great. wagging your tail. Are you too loopy to wag your tail? Huh? It's okay, huh? Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. So we are going to air dry. I talked to the pet parent just now. I think that'll be a good thing. She's really out of it, you know what I mean? So precious though. Let me see. Okay, good, okay, good. I gotta get around her though. Come on, up, 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 up. It's not happening. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, anytime you're gonna move a pet that it has a, a tendency to bite, you wanna go ahead and muzzle them because you're gonna be holding their whole body. That's my opinion. And I don't know her well enough to be picking her up and taking her places without the muzzle. Not yet. And I uh, actually make up get this situated. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right, let's see here. Just carry your ear in. Good there. Get her dried up here. Every pet's different, okay? So do treat everything just kind of 
refreshing. Always be safe though. That's not that's not something you should change. See when they're laying down, you can't see everything. So I told mom to come out about six to eight weeks to do a nail trim. Try to maybe get these to back a little bit or right at where they need to be. You're never gonna go backwards, but you can get them to kind of recede a tiny, tiny bit over time. She's got some energy. You see mama? What's she doing out there? Hmm? What's she doing out there? You're kind of wobbly still though. You see there's my seven here. Do a little touch up on some things because once the hair is clean it's going to flare up. do our leave-in conditioning, you know, it's my favorite thing. Use it back here, use your hand, the palm of your hand to go through. It's just not like that. So there's some knots here, make sure you know where the I'm going to come this way with them, cut through them. Just know where your meat's at. Look at her, she's totally looking at mom right now. through with your scissors a little bit here.
whoops, there we go, we got this. Do some cologne, kind of rainforest cologne. I'm gonna do the ear cleaning. Okay, don't get mad. I want to come into your ears here. All right, so mom did buy some of this hot spot foam. What you can do is on the cotton ball, you can apply it to your hand, put it directly on. That's a couple ways I would do it. She said she doesn't like the sound of the hot spot, the pump. She might not like that. So we're gonna come over here, give it, give it a whirl. We're gonna put it right here. Cause I've had my hands doing all kinds of stuff. Let's do this. So that will be able to dry up and treat that area, okay? All right, so make sure to give this to mom. I'll take this off here. And I see, this stuff is really great stuff. The ingredients are really great. There's actually another light spot right here. I'm just gonna put that there. It's just irritated, nothing serious, but. Yeah, she's finally standing up. She stood up for this whole last part. Is it worn out? I don't know, but she didn't bite me when we took off the muzzle. So that's a good thing. So mom has all these things on here. We're gonna, I'm actually gonna give mom a little poop bag holder. I know I have an extra. Are you wagging your tail? You know what this is? You know what this is? So mom needs a poop bag holder over here. Okay. I'll get her one for her. Yeah. Great, so we're gonna give this to mom so she'll have a poop bag instead of all these things. <laughs> this will really help us if she doesn't like the sounds and it, you know, things like that, this will really help that scenario. Can you grab my cell phone so I can get a after yes. picture real fast? It's right there. Can I let the little crackle there or is it the thing? Where? It may be. Go like this. Who? Cool. Okay, we'll do. <laughs> okay, so we'll do that. Take that out. Oh. Okay. I'm going to take these. This is a newspaper holder, so I know what that is. Go ahead when you're ready. Okay. Just let me know. There's a lot of stuff in the background. Yeah. Okay. You want a side view, though? Side view? Yeah, I got side view here. Okay. Rosie! Rosie. There you go. Did you get that? Okay, great. We'll text it to Mom. All right, so we'll put those in our thing up there. All right, Rosie, I'm going to pick you up. Don't get mad at me. Ready? Go, go, go. I wish oh. that sold those. Oh, it's so much. I know. Yeah. I've actually called a few vets and said, hey, I'd love to sell you these. And they're like, no, we're good. They, I know. Such a difference. Yeah. Like this one right here. <laughs> I'm hanging up oh. up there. Oh, Look yeah, there goes a the big sizes. one. Yeah. So if you <laughs> need one, let me know. Here, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. Give me a hug. Appreciate you. Bye. See you in a few weeks for nail trim, yeah? Okay, you guys. So I talked to the pet parent. I had her text me the sedative that she gave her pet. And she said, this is exactly what she said. 
It's called Prom Ace, P-R-O-M-A-C-E. And she said, she can't, she can't move if I give her a whole one. I only give her a very tiny piece. So it sounds like she breaks it off and give her that. Can you imagine if that pet couldn't move? Woo! <laughs> it would be a really hard groom, man. So I have to ask you this. So you can comment down below. Uh, a lot of, let me see what's behind me. I'm, this is how much stuff I have to do. Not even all of it every day. I decided to write down my list of to do's every day and there's like 50 things, on, it's just too much. Okay, so the thing I have for you to answer below is that if you're a groomer, can you imagine, it's, it's difficult on both sides. It's difficult if you have a dog running around the table. It's difficult if you have a dog matted. It's difficult if you have a dog that's knocked out. <laughs> So what's the better of the evils, right? What's the, uh, what would you prefer? Would you prefer a dog that was knocked out laying there? Or would you prefer a dog that could eventually get used to the grooming because they're not knocked out, right? They're, whether, whether that means that first couple, two or three grooms might be really challenging for the groomer and the dog, like, moving around, jumping, lunging, like, yes, that stuff is so dangerous and crazy, but what would you prefer? Because now you've actually seen, this is actually, now I understand what happened with that German Shepherd. Remember the European German Shepherd? I didn't understand because I don't do, I don't tell people to sedate their dogs. So now I'm wondering what drug was given. Man, I should call the veterinarian and find out. Ooh, I'm going to call the veterinarian and find out on that European German Shepherd. Matter of fact, I gotta look her up anyway because I do want to tell her like, hey, by the way, here's the video and then double check. Can you believe your pet had fleas? Like, she saved a lot of money because we didn't catch them. And I'm glad we spray regularly because, man, that could have been, and that was the last groom for the day. So thank goodness no one got infested or something like that. We saw more than one. You guys caught it. Thank you. You guys caught it. I didn't watch the video and go looking for fleas. You guys were like, and you guys made me go look, man. Because very rarely do I actually go back and sometimes I do. I really like to work out. For some reason, I love to work out and enjoy being suctioned to watching me groom so I can analyze myself. But I got to call her. I got to, you know, send it out to her and just say, hey, by the way, your pet did come in with fleas that day. So Prom Ace is a sedative that that lady gave today for Rosie. And you can see she was, man, she was really knocked out. She was really loopy. It saved on the biting though. Um, if she had found me because her dog was biting, which is what's why she came to me, biting groomers and stuff like that, then you know, this is why we're here. But thank you so much, Rosie's mom and Rosie for coming in. I think the next time I told her nail trim, let's try to not do sedation and see how she does with the nail trim alone. And hopefully she'll take that advice. I told her come in in about two weeks, uh, six to eight weeks for a nail trim only. And then every four months we'll do a shave down. So see how much time for an 11 year old pet. I've only got to see her about twice a year, maybe, you know, two and a half times a year. Awesome. That's what I would prefer to do on our senior babies. So I know some of you have said sedate the dog, sedate the dog, sedating the dog doesn't always for, in my opinion, is not always the thing to do. Matter of fact, I never advise it to be the thing that to do. I'm not a veterinarian. I'm not going to sedate a dog while grooming. If you have a groomer that's sedating a dog while they're being groomed and there's no veterinarian on site, you, th there might be a problem there, okay? You're not supposed to sedate any animals if you don't have authority to do so. If you're not a veterinarian, you shouldn't be prescribing anything. So be really careful what's going on out there on both sides, the, uh, the pet owner and the groomer or grooming salon business or groom, grooming business, you know, any of those things. So if you have any opinions, you can put them down there. I, my questions are just that. What would you prefer? Sedated, knocked out, laying there, doing nothing? Or a battle for a few, the first few grooms and then, you know, hopefully you work, you're working on something, you're working on training. May not see them very often, but you are working it to get together. You all have seen some of the dogs that have had, had many improvements over the years, so woo, that's awesome. To see improvement is amazing. But you cannot improve the pet's reaction to the grooming or the nail trimming and all that if you're still causing pain. If you are a pet owner and you're doing nail trims and you're still quicking your dog, meaning you're hitting the vein, that is not going to get the dog to let you trust 
the nail trimming anymore. Like it's not, it's not gonna, the dog's not gonna be like, oh great, we're doing nails if you are still hitting the vein. So that goes with the groomers out there too, or the vet techs, or anybody nicking the vein. That will never prepare that dog to be used to it and calm down. It will just make it worse. So I challenge you not to nick veins. If you are grooming and the dog is always in pain while you're grooming, you're always cutting them, nicking them, that is not building trust, okay? So really decide uh, in, for your world what's best. Get a professional in there. Get proper training. All right, thanks for watching. Didi Korg, my favorite groomer on YouTube. Be sure to shop with us at myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop. Play with the system. If you're doing it on your mobile phone, be sure to scroll scroll up because it's there. It'll refresh and it just you see the logo and you think it didn't refresh. It refreshed and just scroll up. If you're shopping on our website, make sure you hover over shop and then look at all the categories that are there. Be sure to pick up your shirt or your hoodie at the apparel section online as well. We've got some really cool stuff on there. My favorite is the vinyl. The shiny, shiny vinyl shirts are really fun to wear. So pick up your merchandise there. And then we got muzzles that we use today, the large nail clipper. That's so handy if you're using those, using them for those thick, thick nails. And then the small nail trim, nail trimmer. And what else? Brush, clipper, and it's five speed. It goes all the way, man. And then don't forget your monkey cord, your uh, monkey cord to stop the tangling. Oh, I haven't battled with my clippers in a while now. So thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you soon.